everyone, I'm finally back. I know, it's been a while since I made a woodworking video with a project. But we did some home renovations and we're finally done. Okay, almost. We need to paint the walls, but we're almost done. So I have some more time in the shop now. And it's so lovely after being a lot of hours not being in the shop. You know what I mean. I love woodworking. In this video I'll show you how you can make a wooden puppet. This is Luike. I absolutely love how it came out. And uh, I also made him a chair so he can sit and relax. Okay, let's have a look how I made him. And I'll see you the next time. Bye! Oh, and tell me, would you like to see Prepare Yourself for Christmas Season 3? Or did you see enough with season 2 and season 1? Let me know in the comments down below. Bye! Yay! I was so happy to be at the shop again. So for this puppet I was looking for some light wood. And I think this was uh, some kind of pine. It was a white board so I was cutting it up into smaller sections. Transferring the pattern onto the wood, I'm using a front view and a side view. And as you can see, my board was still pretty wide. After a while, I cut it in half. Drill a small hole for the hinge of the hips and then cut out the profiles on the bandsaw. To make the cuts safer, you can put it all back together with some tape. Now that I've cut out some pieces, it's time to give it some more shape with the carving knives. It's a lot of work, but it's actually pretty relaxing. First I made a hole in the upper leg for the bottom leg. Here I was already shaping the shoe. The hole was not big enough for the leg, so I need to fix that. Some more shaping for the shoe. The drawings for this puppet are not for myself. I found them on the internet. Uh, from Tony Sinet. There's a link in the description to his website. Yay! It fits! A bit of light sanding, but I don't want to remove all the carved marks. You need to see that it's hand carved. Time to cut out the body. For this piece I glued two boards together. With the carving knives it took a lot of time, but I almost always used the carving knives, but sometimes I was sheeting and I used the belt sander.
the hands were a real challenge because they are so small and yeah, they are so complicated. As you can see, there is still too much material and there are some parts we still need to remove. The Dremel came in handy to help me on the hands. Now let's draw on some fingers and then I can carve a tin line. Of course, Loike also needs some arms. Okay, so the last day of carving was for the most challenging part, the head. And oh man, that was a lot of work, but at the end I was pretty happy with the end result. For the head I did not use the drawing from Tony Sinet, but I searched for an image of Pinocchio's head, and that was my starting point. As you can see his nose and his ears are all over that length and you need to remove a lot of that. He was finally getting some shape, but I decided that his head was a little bit too flat at the back, so I glued on a little piece so I could give him a, a bit more shape. His hands and his feet are glued in. Here I was creating his hairline. At the meantime my battery died and I worked on his eyes and uh, eyebrows. It was a lot of detail work. For his hairs I was also cutting some grooves to give him a better look. His body was still so empty, so I decided to give him a salopet.
and then it was time for the most fun part. It was so hard to decide which colors I would give Luike, but at the end I was so happy with the colors we choose. To attach his head to the body I'm using a little piece of leather, this way his head can move a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. So this puppet was a real challenge for me but I'm so happy that I did it and I'm so happy with the end result. I also made him a chair so he can sit because he doesn't have a lot of muscles so he can't stand tall. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Luike. I'll see you in my next video, bye!